and, and then uh, we'll play one more tune and then we'll get to the marching band. I want to thank a bunch of people because um, uh, you can do marching band with a lot less support people, but I would. Um, the, the people that we have working for us, you know, I don't even know if the students really realize there's not very many um, activities and honestly not very many other band programs where you can get as many parents, volunteers, staff members, um, and teachers to work as many hours as they do for you. Um, you don't get this at very many schools, so you're in a good spot. We do it because of the uh, feedback we get from you, the um, level of workmanship and um, the um, rehearsal etiquette and the way you guys will work, work, work really hard um, to achieve a goal, or, or none of these people would do it. All right, so the more you give, the more they give, and vice versa. But I want to thank some of those people that almost never get thanked, and there's no way I can write a list like this and get every name. Um, so some, these are, in, in almost every category, these are pe people who, who, who are there almost every time, but I know there was a lot of people that were there for a few events and stuff and helped out that are, are not gonna be named here, but, um, but we'll, we'll take care of them at the end. Um, Joey, is there any way we could get a little house lights in here? Thank you, a little more, a little more, a little more. I'm old, thank you, that's good. <laughs> so first of all, if I call your name, just stand, and I know I'm gonna ask you to stand for a while because uh, I just want, to see, I want everyone to see, especially the students, but also everyone, to see how many people it takes to, uh, to put on uh, the show that you're about to see the culmination of. So first of all, we need a lot of people, you know, I, I, I recently watched a video of, of my first year here, and I remember the front ensemble, what some people call the pit, had seven people in it. And now there's like 15 people in it and twice as many instruments and all those instruments need to be moved on and off the field, loaded into trucks. And you know, when this band goes somewhere, it's like you're moving a whole household worth of furniture um, uh, to Phoenix and back in one day uh, or whatever. So um, people that uh, worked on the equipment crew and were there almost every, every show are uh, Richard and Tia Lopez, Les Kenny, Larry Labus, Roy Garcia, Aaron and Martha Petrie, Jim and Susan Stoft, and, and uh, Paul Richard. And also, uh, Richard Lopez and Roy Garcia also drove almost every event. So if you're here, go ahead and stand up. If you can stay standing, that'd be awesome. Uh, our uniform moms who make the band look so good and, and put in a lot of hours, you know, uh, there's a, if you're a uniform mom, you're at the school during the day, a lot of uh, days during the week. Um, so the people that were there most of the time, Allison Sheets, Wendy Swartz, Chastity Lee, and Fisha Rogers. Our volunteer coordinator, Monica Crawford, you may have heard from her. She needs to do all the time. Uh, um, our our uh, rumble president and uh, person who organized all the dinners for the band, Michelle Simon, and any volunteer that served food. Go ahead. Hydration is important, and we're good about uh, getting our band water and getting the visiting band water if they need it. Uh, Jim and Susan Stop, um, uh, Yontak and Sarah Choi, and uh, all volunteers who helped in the stands to deliver water to the band. Go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through a bunch right now. So just stand up when you hear your name called. Lisa Ann Barber did spirit sales, in charge of spirit sales. Uh, photos were done by Claire Spencer. Bob Dieter did video. Uh, Patrick Grimes did our our uh, 
our formal band picture, chaperone coordinator Brianna, Brianna Irvin, Arvin, sorry, and um, any volunteers who helped uh, do chaperones, please stand up. And um, uh, Jamie Booth did U of A concessions. Doug and Sean Brown took care of our butter break. Um, all our band camp parents stand up, and um, anybody else that volunteered at anything, go ahead and stand up, and I just want to uh, uh, give, give them a big over. Standing that they did this and then they did this and they did they helped out wherever we needed them so their name wasn't really fitting into a category but man we just really couldn't do it without all you people and I, I hope more of you decide to do that and get involved in, in uh, your kids program here and uh, help us uh, get to the next level. I'd also like to thank, I don't know if any of these are here, so you don't have to clap till the end, but um, our admin um, uh, principals and um, Assistant Principals Amy Sislak, Alyssa Welch, Joel Vasalia, Pablo Madrid, Red Morrow, our Activities Director Dave Lapo, all our Secretaries, Office Staff, Counselors, and Faculty of the Schools. Please give them a big hand. And if any, if any of these people are here, please stand up. This, you know, really, we, I couldn't do this without them. Our staff, starting with our assistant band director, uh, Morani Sanders, here around, and, and, and uh, guard staff, Nicole Hamilton, Whitney Sheets, Missy Hurtado, Trevor Bigelow, Percussion, Mark Leversedge, Laura Glazer, Mitch Allison, Porter Ellerman, Phoebe Hughes, Brandon Olander, Alex Smoy Alvarado, who left the check in Disneyland, and Lucas Velasco. Our wins and visual staff were Sedona Coast, Abby James, uh, Quinn Jarecki, Jacob Lithgo, Mike Arantia, Dan Phillips, Sean Reese, Alex Sanders, Drew Sheets, Yudi Hueda, and Adam Velasco. If any of you are here, stand up, let's give them When it comes to actually, when it comes to, when it comes to actually putting this show together, I couldn't do it without the people that um, served, uh, you know, primary people on the design team, Nicole Hamilton, Sean Reese, Mark Leversedge, and Martin Hebda from Casa Grande. Let's give them a big hand for writing the show. I don't know if he's here, but our, our uh, web designer and uh, graphic designer does most of our t-shirts and stuff, Luke Hewitt. From, from a student leadership standpoint, uh, none of that is trivial. We couldn't do it without our student leaders, so go ahead and stand up when um, I read your section, your area that you're in or your name. Um, public relations, historians, uniform officers, section leaders, and equipment managers, stand up. You might sometimes think that what you do is not all that important, but trust me, I, I don't know half of what you do. And so if you're not here, I cannot fill in for you. It's important that you guys pass on the information correctly to the next people that do your job. And um, I appreciate all the work you guys did. Uh, and then uh, absolutely couldn't do it without our great drum majors, Kevin Choi, Kelsey Curley, Tiana Lee, and Ryan Sheets. to thank uh, the UHS Site Council. Uh, they provide stipends for Ms. Hamilton and Ms. Sheets so that they can work all the hours that they do. And I'd also like to thank, thank all the stage crew, but in particular uh, Dylan, Anna, Joey, Macy, and Mamie. Thank you so much. You guys are doing a great job so far.
and also um, there are times when people need to uh, give us information and it's uh, scary to talk to me and it's awesome to have Mrs. Spencer around so let's give a big hand for her. And also uh, the most important person that helps me do this job. She also uh, completely runs middle school night, does a fantastic job with that. Uh, maybe we can get her to do more jobs so I can see her more. Uh, Donna Marchant, where are you? And we're gonna give some awards now. So, there's two things that people, in general, do not know how to do when they get to high school that's necessary for this activity, and that's march and spin weapons. And, uh, and so they have to learn that stuff real fast and get caught up, because when you're looking from the stands, everybody has the same uniform, and it wouldn't do if the incoming freshmen did not pick it up fast enough to look the same as all the rest of the people that have been doing it for years. Um, so we like to acknowledge some, a person every year, and this really represents a bunch of people that really pick up marching really fast. And, um, and within a, a few weeks, you can't tell them from one of the upper class classmen and their marching uh, style. Everything we ask them to do, they, they immediately implement. That, that's a talent in and of itself. There are certain people, especially around the age of 14, 15, it's tricky, they don't know what their feet are doing, they don't know what their legs are doing, and, and it takes them a while. Some people pick that up right away, um, and, and so we have an outstanding Rookie Marcher Award every year, and this year it goes to Sabine Dieter. As you might um, imagine, in a band this size, there's there's just tons of people that are doing fantastic jobs, and it's difficult to pick. So we try to pick someone that kind of represents all those people. A lot of freshmen did really, really good this year. One of the strongest freshman class we've come in as far as physical marching, and um, I'm excited about that. And then we give out, this is, these are two awards that we give out that are just basically, does this person play well, march well, and do they have extra to be able to give to other people and to show, their, uh, show other people how to do this activity? Because it's, it's, a, it's a lot to learn in, in six weeks. And, uh, and so people that learn it well enough to be able to handle all of their responsibilities and give some away to pe other people, um, uh, we like to recognize that. So this first one, and we, we split them up. One is for all the musicians, and then one is for the color guard. This is outstanding member member as a musician, and it goes to Melina Starr.
We also have one um, outstanding member for guard, and uh, again, this is a person that's able to um, perform 100% all the time, which is hard for color guard because their job, especially this year with moving all the props, was so very physical. Um, every rehearsal was exhausting, and it's very difficult to sort of bring that performance to every run, to every rep, and uh, it's hard to find people that are able to do that all the time, even great members. It's difficult to do that all the time. This person did it almost all the time, more than, more than most, and uh, every rep uh, was 100% effort um, from what we could see, and um, she's a great example to other people, and it goes to Hannah McAllister. And then when we talk about marching, it's um, we need to get everyone to a level that they can um, perform the show, look good doing it, and raise our visual uh, individual visual scores. And when, when you have a band where you're taking everyone that wants to march instead of auditioning it down, that's a difficult thing to do, and we do it really well. And a lot of the members uh, stand out. But if I look if I, if I look around the field and go. Who out there do I wish everyone marched like and everyone rehearsed like? But mostly, they, the way they look, I want everyone to look like that. It has to be Dahlia Muller. And then, and then don't come up here, but we also give out the Marching Section of the Year Award. And uh, this is a section that's won it before since I've been here. And uh, we looked at every section and look, looked at what section uh, made the most of their sectionals, what section built a family atmosphere, what section took a whole bunch of rookies and got them up to speed. And this year's uh, Section of the Year goes to Trumpets. the directions and everything. Uh, some quick announcements. Uh, we're still short a lot of money for the travel that we've done this year. Um, and we can make that up with tax credit. That's is, We're coming up on the end of the year. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Most of you know about it, but remember that any tax credit payment from you or from a relative or a neighbor, um, half of that can go towards travel towards your, your uh, students. So make sure you take care of that. It can happen online or you can send in a check and we can take it, walk it up for you, get your receipt, and make sure uh, everything uh, gets taken care of. Uh, there's no reason not to do it. If you have any Arizona tax liability, you should be donating, no, donating that amount up to the maximum uh, to the school, and you'll get it back uh, in April. Um, also, drumline and uh, winter guard orientation is on Thursday the 3rd uh, at 7 p.m. Um, we still have spirit sale, sale stuff in the lobby, so stop by on your way out. Um, also, we'll, we'll be losing some people off the rumba board as their uh, students graduate and move on. Um, so we're always looking for people to run for office. So make sure you start coming to the meetings and check, it out, check out what it is and see if you have anything to offer the group. They meet on the second Tuesday of every month. 
And um, also, it's a small amount of money we make, but we, but it does help us pay our monthly obligations, insurance, pay, paychecks, and stuff like that. The restaurant nights we set up are, are worth it. Uh, so if you're gonna, if you can, the next one's on December 13th at Panda Express, and we'll be sending out an email about it. So once again, thank you all for getting your kids to rehearsal, and uh, we're gonna move forward with the show. So we're going to do one more tune, then we're going to change the stage, and that'd be a great time for you to go to the lobby, write a tax credit payment, maybe buy some uh, spirit sales, that kind of stuff.